What the fuck is up with Amazon and why are they so inconsistent? Let's talk about it. So many people complain about Amazon and their shipping practices. Sometimes they ship pops in bags. Sometimes they ship one singular pop in a box this big. Sometimes they ship your pop in a big box next to like a fucking vacuum cleaner. It's a vacuum cleaner and a pop just rattling around in there. Not cool. And sometimes they pack the pop really nicely in a sorter. Sometimes if you're really lucky, you'll even get some bubble wrap. That's what's up. But you never know what you're gonna get with Amazon. It's literally like playing Russian roulette and it f***ing sucks. You actually had bubble wrap in an Amazon box? Very rarely, it's happened like twice. I have never seen that ever, have you? Let us know in the comment section. One other thing that they do is they'll do one of those box, it's like this big, it's this, this big of a box, it's a pretty big box. One pop inside with a bunch of those like air cushions, but they're not below the pop, they're like right above it. So what's that gonna do if something hits it below? Nothing. Nothing. It's stupid. No, it's not stupid. It's trash! The reason I wanted to talk about this is because I received a really interesting package from Amazon the other day, and I don't know if I should feel happy or concerned. I I've never received a box like this before. It's just very bizarre. Everything came in pristine condition. Don't worry about that. It's, it's just weird. We don't understand what they were thinking with this particular package, but before we show you that and get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Then we don't know anytime we go live, and we go live every single Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m., and we also post new content every single day, just like this video right here. Also hit the like button because that helps this video's reach. In turn, more people will be able to find the Gasocast. Typically, people will say, I ordered two, three, or four, or five of one particular item just so that they would ensure that at least one arrives safely. I ordered four of this item because we're going to New York Comic Con. As a matter of fact, we might actually be at New York Comic Con when this video drops. But I ordered this pop because the person that this pop is of is actually going to be at the con and I plan on getting all of them signed and I'm going to keep one for myself and then we're going to do a bunch of giveaways with the rest and I'm so freaking excited. But this box, I just, I can't get over it. When Heather showed me how this box came, I still don't understand what they were thinking and I can't wait to show you and basically make your head spin also. So typically when I see inconsistencies with Amazon packaging their items, I think, oh, this must just be from the warehouse that they pack all their pops in bags in, or this is the warehouse that's the king, and they know how to do everything in sorters and with bubble wrap. It's awesome. But this box, it's like it traveled to all of the Amazon warehouses, and I got a little taste of everything. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you because I know you're wondering what the f we're talking about. So it's this size box, I got four pops. Not much wiggle room on the top. <laughs> Look at this sh <laughs> I got DMC because Daryl McDaniel is gonna be at New York Comic Con. That's amazing. Yes, we met him once before, I think in 2016 or 2017. He's really, really nice, but unfortunately I didn't have one of his pops because they were like way, way, way up there. But they recently came out with brand new ones, so I was able to get them at a good price. So as you can see, these two are just there. Oh my God, they're really tucked in there. They are, and this one actually has some damage. I thought they were all good, but this, oh, that one has some damage too. Well, shit. Oh, there's a tear. Oh, this yeah. one's torn up here. There's some bends. Okay, well, oh. it, it looks like I'm just getting too signed. Oh, well, this one isn't that bad. Wow. It, it's not good. No, this one's not bad. There's a little tear up here. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of a lip up here. Look, a little lip. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are bad. So I got one in a sorter. This one's perfect. And why wouldn't they just put them all in a sorter? Because you saw how tight it was. But why is one in a sorter and then one has a sorter and bubble wrap? I don't know. It's weird. They could have used a bigger box. This is ridiculous. So look, it, it's, it's not just bubble wrap. It's a bag of bubble wrap. 
It's a bag. That is so weird. Okay, this box is actually squished a little bit. Oh, I'm wondering what it no. looks like. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's also damaged and it had bubble wrap around it. Is it possible that they were trying to like cover it up? Look at all the things that we did to protect this. Well, unless I can get three more by tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe. So three out of four from Amazon. This whole video has changed now. Three yeah. out of four are damaged. Well, I looked in there and they looked good at first glance, but I guess I was wrong. Now we wouldn't scrutinize these as much if we were just collecting them because Heather and I collect a lot of pops out of box these days, but these are for autographs. And when you get a Funko Pop autographed, you don't want it bent like this, bent up here or, or just a little nicks. Even the window here is kind of screwed up. This one is, oh, that one's the worst. And this had the most amount of protection. I can't believe it. But when you're getting, you know, that's what I usually do. That's what Amazon does. Well, at least Amazon sent us one that wasn't damaged. Now I gotta see if I can get them on Amazon. DMC Funko. <laughs> oh God, you're Pop. trying. You're trying again. One day, free delivery tomorrow. Oh my God. No. No? That's run. DMC wouldn't come till Tuesday. Oh, no. Are you serious? <sighs> ah! What time are, are they coming? It doesn't tell you. I know it doesn't. Can I add it to cart and like make it come on Monday? Mm. Oh, no, there's no option to get it earlier. This is terrible. Did you check out like stores locally for this? No, because I well, could get them on Amazon. Well, GameStop might have like these. I don't think they do. Well, this is terrible. We were actually making this video to show you how crazy Amazon ships stuff, not expecting that we would have this much damage. So now our autograph session with DMC might be ruined. And we were trying to get one signed for one of our patrons. If you want to go join our Patreon, head over there now. Oh. Patreon.com slash GasoCast. Where you won't be getting a signed DMC Funko Pop. <laughs> what if? I add them to my cart now and get them shipped and they come early. I don't think that's going to happen, but go, go ahead and give it a shot. It, it, worst case scenario, you can return them. Oh, what a mess. Big mess. Should I get three? I would get like 15. Based off of our luck just now, one out of four was in good shape. Mm. So you would have to order like 12 in hopes that we would get like two or three more in good shape. No, it says Wednesday. Oh my God. Oh, so if I order two, I can get them Tuesday. One is Tuesday. Oh Tuesday. my God, this is insane. I'll get, I'll get two. God, Amazon sucks. Let me make sure I placed all my orders today correctly. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. That for the tickets, <laughs> for the drawing. That's what I was trying to explain. Okay, so we were gonna talk about how I got this, and I'm getting one signed, and I'm getting a few for giveaway, but since we're not doing giveaways, I guess, unless Amazon comes through, which I don't think they will because we leave on Tuesday. Uh, this is the worst thing that ever happened to us ever. Uh, we're gonna show you something that we got in the mail a while ago that we have not yet shown, but I don't even understand why because this thing is awesome. A they live dumpster fire. So if you don't know what dumpster fires are, you can actually go over to 100soft.com and check them out. They do these little dumpster fire characters and they're really cool. This one just so happens to be far different than anything they've ever done. Yes. So basically dumpster fires are just as they sound. They're a dumpster that's on fire. One of my favorite ones is the Valentine's Day one. It has like little Valentine's hearts in it, like the speech hearts or whatever. Yeah. And they say stuff related to trash, which is really cute. It's like a transparent dumpster and you can see the little candies in there. It's amazing. Super awesome. And then they have a this is fine dumpster fire with the dog that's like sitting there like sipping on his mug and everything around him's on fire. And he's like, this is fine, but it's just the dog on the dumpster. It's awesome. This one is They Live, and I actually haven't even seen that out of box yet. So if you don't know what They Live is, it's a science fiction film from the 80s, and in the film, this guy has a special pair of glasses where he can look around at people and see if they're aliens or not. So when they look like aliens, they have like this weird brainy looking face. But that's sort of the whole idea behind it. These glasses actually show what the world really looks like. It's a very interesting film. If you've never seen it, you should totally go and watch it. But they actually have art from that film all 
all over this thing. The characters are here, conform. They also have the consume on the front of the dumpster fire. So this is a great piece. I'm excited that Heather got this because I think you have literally every They Live collectible known to man. I think so too. Oh my God, this guy's awesome. Look at him. Oh man, this is so cool. Yeah, I really love this. It's black and white, which I absolutely love. The fact that his face is actually colored really stands out. Yeah, that's a great looking piece. I like how Consume covers up the dumpster's face. I do, but I don't because I really like the dumpster's face. He's really cute. One of the coolest things about this, aside from the fact that it's black and white with the pop of color, is the ombre fire. This is a great piece. And if you want to check them out, again, 100soft.com. I don't think these are on there anymore. This was like a Mondo, I think, exclusive. Yes. Yeah, a Mondo exclusive during San Diego Comic-Con of this year. What do you think about our whole Amazon debacle? And what do you think about this dumpster fire? We would love to know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. You guys are incredible and we appreciate all of the support that you give us. If you are interested in being a patron and learning how to support this channel and what perks you get in return, head to patreon.com slash gaslocast to find out more. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Dark Spartan, Shadow Force, Jack Doherty, Luton Aboot, Mason Bradshaw, Felicia Lynn, James Thomas, Nick Mastromico, Nick, John and Christy Alonzo. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you so much for staying until the very end of the video. We appreciate all of your support. You guys are amazing. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.